How do you do? Well, my name's Robert, and it is my pleasant duty to welcome you here on the very first episode of It All Started with a Mouse, The History of Disney. The title is obviously a reference to one of Walt Disney's most famous quotes. However, it is a bit misleading, for you see, technically, it all started with a rabbit, a lucky one named Oswald. In the 1920s, animation was becoming a powerhouse in the world of entertainment. With captivating characters such as Felix the Cat, competitors were expected. The biggest one ended up being Walt Disney. After modest success with the Alice comedies, Walt and his business partner Up Iwerks wanted to remove the live-action components that defined Alice. During this time, distributor Charles Mintz entered negotiations to make a brand new character for Universal Pictures. Their only condition was for the new character not to be a cat. Mintz immediately informed Walt and began sketching rabbits. And on March 4, 1927, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was born. Two weeks later, Poor Papa was produced, and the initial test screening for the short film was met with mixed reviews. Walt knew the problem dealt with the focus being on the plot rather than on the character. Two weeks later, Trolley Troubles was released to the public. The short was met with universal acclaim. However, it became clear early on that not everything would be going as Walt had hoped. On February 2, 1928, Charles Mintz signed a new deal with Universal Pictures to produce new Oswald shorts that would exclude Walt Disney's involvement. Walt had heard some of the rumors regarding his future with the company, but naively dismissed them. He then decided he would head to New York and was given shocking news. Not only was he offered less money than before, but more importantly, he found out that Universal had owned the rights to the character. To no one's surprise, Walt and his partner Iwerks decided not to resign with the company. Having lost everything, he and his wife decided to get on the first train back home. Furious over the debacle, Walt started sketching the only animal that had not been claimed as a main character at that point in time. A mouse. In what would be a bit of redemption for Walt, Carl Lemley, the founder of Universal Studios, fired Mintz and would later replace him with Walter Lance, who would eventually be known for creating Woody Woodpecker. Lance only agreed to take over Oswald after receiving Walt's blessing. Shortly after, the two became close friends. Under New Direction, the character would go through two major changes regarding his appearance, the second one being unrecognizable to his original state. Without Walt's leadership, Oswald was not able to capture the same level of success that he once proclaimed. The last official Oswald short was produced in 1943. On February 6, 2006, the Walt Disney Company brokered an historic deal in which they traded sports commentator Al Michaels from ESPN to NBC in exchange for the ownership of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Since then, merchandise for the character has been sold across the world. Two video games have been produced featuring his likeness, and he even appeared in an Academy Award-nominated short film. Oswald the Rabbit is lucky to be back where he belongs.